Hi, my name is Andrew George, a 90th percentile MCAT tutor for MCAT Self Prep, the creators of the free MCAT Prep course. In this video, I will talk about how to utilize the final month of studying before you take the MCAT. To make it simple, you should strive to cover all of the MCAT content before starting the final month of your MCAT study plan. If you are not quite finished yet, that is okay, but try to have them all done at least two weeks before you take the exam. The reason you want to avoid learning new content during this time is because the most high yield things for you to be doing are one, reviewing, and two, taking practice exams. Reviewing all your note cards will make sure that everything is fresh, and practicing will make sure you know how to use that information in a testing situation. In an ideal world, during the final month of study, you should be doing the following. One, review every note card. Two, do practice problems regularly. Three, do AAMC practice problems every day. Four, study full time. And five, meet regularly with your tutor. First of all, you need to thoroughly review every note card you have made since you started studying. As you review each note card during this period, keep track of every note card you answered incorrectly and or want to review again. Then, during the final week, make time to review these missed or important note cards one last time. Also, take a practice exam once or twice a week. If you feel like, that you, if you feel like you are the type of person that gets nervous on test day, two exams each week will help you get used to taking the test and it will also calm your nerves. On the other hand, if you feel like reviewing is more important for you, limit yourself to just one exam per week. It's all about finding what helps you improve. Feel free to retake the AMC practice exam you took at the beginning of your studies, but save the, the other two that you haven't done yet until within about two weeks of your test date. Many top scores have found that this was able to accurately predict their MCAT score within a few points. The MCAT self prep prep course entails taking a practice exam every four days during the final month of preparation. Also, do AAMC practice problems every day. Doing AAMC practice problems every day will allow you to continue tracking your progress and will also keep your test taking skills fresh. And at this point, you should be holding yourself to a strict time limit, about one and a half minutes per question. This will ensure that you can handle the time constraints of the actual exam. Also, you will want to give your studying a full-time effort during this time. It is now crunch time. Ideally, you should be studying six to 10 hours a day. Make sure to take regular breaks though. Some students tend to overwork themselves during this period, only to burn out on test day. Know your limits. If that means taking the day off before the exam, go for it. If that means taking weekends off, do it. Find the balance that works for you. Last of all, you should meet with a tutor once or twice a week. The final month can be especially stress stressful. For this reason, it can be extremely helpful to meet with someone that has already conquered the exam. They will be able to help you feel calm about your current progress and help you see areas of improvement that could result in big points on test day. Since you will be doing a high volume of practice problems during this period, you will also want someone that can help you figure out how to solve some of the more difficult AMC practice problems. All of the MCAT self prep tutors scored in the 99th percentile or higher and can give you exactly the help and support that you need during the final month of studying. We look forward to helping you reach your MCAT goal so to get started, go to MCATSelfPrep.com.